Open carry of firearms in voting locations on election day is not allowed. That directive came to clerks across the state today, like the Saginaw County clerk behind me. The goal? Eliminate voter intimidation. The open carry of firearms on election day is prohibited in polling places, clerks' offices, and absent voter counting boards. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson today gave that direction to clerks statewide in hopes of ensuring every voter is protected. According to her office, there's been many questions and confusion about voter safety. Open carry of a firearm at a place where people are voting, um, that can cause voter intimidation and therefore is not allowable. Although the State Department does not expect any specific confrontation, it comes as President Trump encourages people to watch the polls, and guns were openly carried in the Capitol earlier this year. The ban will be enforced by Michigan State Police and Attorney General Dana Nessel, who will work with local law enforcement. It even goes so far as to apply to any hallway used by voters to enter or exit, or within 100 feet of any entrance to a building that has a voting location. I think it's a good thing. There's been a lot of uh, stories and everything going on right now with intimidation, uh, especially in the past few years, for the fact people be more comfortable uh, voting in person if they choose to do that. This is the first time Michigan has a directive like this, but voter intimidation has been illegal for years. No voter in Michigan or anywhere should um, feel intimidated when exercising their right to vote, their right to cast a ballot. And Meg, I spoke with the Frankenmuth city clerk today, and he told me it's not the Wild West out there. You don't need a gun to go vote on Election Day. Reporting live in Saginaw, Trevor Sahaki, TV5 News.